What's up everyone, Alex here with Off The Cuff Reviews. I am back again to bring you guys a special new video. This time we're gonna be talking about everything that I watched in the month of November. There was a lot, so let's get into it. <laughs> Like I said, I watched a lot of films, so this is probably gonna be a longer video. Let's just jump right into it without further ado. The first thing that I watched in the month of November was The Craft Legacy. I watched this on November 2nd, and it was a trip. It was exactly what I was going to expect. The Craft, it, it was literally Blumhouse making the craft like it's literally exactly what you would expect suburban white family moving into like some suburban town in California it has nothing to really do with the the original they kind of tried to keep some elements of the original they also added David Duchovny I did a whole review on this on my channel you can go check that out um, but I didn't really enjoy it I actually gave it a two out of five on Letterboxd the next one that I watched in the month of November was Earthquake Bird. This was a film that I had just been scrolling through Netflix and I had seen it and it piqued my interest because it put uh, Alicia Vikander um, opposite of Riley Keough and I actually really, really enjoy both actresses. Um, I really, really enjoy Riley Keough. I think that she is a gem in Hollywood right now. It just really stuck out to me. Uh, this, this film I actually really enjoyed. Um, there were some elements that were kind of cheesy that I feel like they could have uh, amped up in the plot, like plot-wise, but um, like especially towards the end, they tried to justify a lot of the things that happened in the film towards the end. And some of it doesn't work for me, but I do really enjoy this, and I really enjoyed the setting. I thought it was directed really well and acted really well, um, but I expected nothing less from the cast and crew. Um, but I do recommend this. This is streaming on Netflix right now. It's called Earthquake Bird. Definitely check it out. I give it a three and a half out of five. The next one that I watched in the month of November was Coherence. Uh, I had been scrolling through Hulu actually and this popped up. The premise seemed cool but the, the trailer seemed a little uh, like it, it seemed like you can tell it's a little bit lower budget and it seemed like it might have been like all over the place and the movie is all over the place if you watch this one you have to go in with the mindset that this is going to be mostly improvised it's the whole film is mostly improvised and the the actual filmmaking part it, it was kind of on a lower budget but the premise is really cool and the performances are really cool and the way that they wrapped the plot up towards the end of the movie it really does work so uh you should definitely check that one out i give it a four out of five the next one that i watched in the month of november was the other lamb i really fucking enjoyed this one this was a cult it's, it's like real cult vibes with this one but i actually really enjoyed this i wanted to do a full review uh but it just never came to fruition maybe i will eventually do a full review but i definitely recommend this one i think it's streaming on hulu if you like if you like a24 culty type of vibes uh slow burn thrilling suspenseful definitely check it out the performances are really good the next one that i watched in the month of November was The Endless. Uh, this was obviously recommended by Ashley. Um, since I met her, she's been talking about um, Benson and Moorhead. Is that their names? I believe. Hold on. Let me double check real quick. Yep. Moorhead and, and Benson. Okay. Yeah. So exactly. Yes. So um, she's been talking about them because she really enjoys their work. Like overall, she really enjoys their work. And um, I hadn't seen pretty much anything. But we finally watched The Endless, and I actually pretty I, I enjoyed this pretty much. Uh, I gave it a three out of five on Letterboxd. It's it's there, there's some of the plot that um, I didn't really enjoy too too much, but I think that overall it's a pretty good uh, feature length film, and they're pretty special. I think I think these these filmmakers they have a good head on their shoulders and can can really put out uh, some really good films. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a film called Piercing. 
I watched this with Ashley. This was recommended by her. She said she really, really liked this one. She wanted me to see it. Um, so while Christopher Abbott is amazing. I love him in uh, pretty much anything that I've seen him in. I, I really enjoy him uh, in, in in films. He's He he really takes his the films to like another level but the piercing was definitely really good uh some of the some some of the plot could make or make or break the experience for you i enjoyed the plot i enjoyed the way i, I enjoyed what they did with the film in general but this film is definitely not for everyone and i can definitely see why people wouldn't enjoy it I gave it a 4 out of 5 on Letterboxd. The next one that I watched in the month of November was V for Vendetta. This was a rewatch, of course. Um, I gave it a 4 out of 5. I don't really need to talk too much about that one because it's V for Vendetta. It's fucking great. Go check it out. Next one that I watched in the month of November was a film called Solitary. I had saw that it was uh, available on VOD. I thought the plot seemed interesting, but I didn't like the execution pretty much at all. But... Uh, it seems like it might be on like a lower budget either way I feel like they had something special with their premise but they took it in a direction that I didn't really like and uh, they there was too many plot holes that they couldn't fill I gave it a two and a half out of five it's just kind of mediocre for me the next one that I watched in the month of November was the film taking lives I actually have a full review of this up on my patreon you can go check that out. Like I said, it's only $5 a month for the Patreon. I'm, I'm thinking about actually lowering the, the price to maybe $2 a month. So that's a steal. You guys are definitely going to enjoy the content on there. It's just like this type of stuff uh, where I just talk about movies. But definitely take a look at that. There's a full review of that one up on my Patreon right now. I'll give it a four and a half out of five. The next film that I watched in the month of November, I also gave a four and a half out of five, and that is The Dark and the Wicked. This was a film that I really enjoyed. I loved the creepy aspects. It's really, it's a slow burn. It will definitely give you some vibes from The Strangers, because uh, I think it was made by the same people, but it is super creepy, super weird definitely check it out if you're into that kind of stuff uh i really enjoyed this one some people don't enjoy some people didn't really enjoy the whole film uh, i liked it though i i really did i thought this one really worked for me and i definitely enjoyed it four and a half out of five the next film on my list uh is an older one i hadn't seen it but I kept being recommended so uh this one was the game with michael douglas and I thought it was pretty good. Um, it came out in 97. I uh, gave it a three and a half out of five stars, but the film overall does have some things that I didn't really enjoy with the plot, but I think that the performance by Michael Douglas, probably one of his best, really sells this for me. And really, like, I probably would have given it like a two and a half out of five or maybe a three. Uh, I did bump it up a little bit just because of the performance by Michael Douglas. I think this one does work with him in the role. It probably wouldn't work with anyone else. So uh, definitely check it out if you guys are into that kind of stuff. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a film called Cold Hell. This was a film that was um, on Shudder. And that's how I got recommended because um, I just... <laughs> Uh, Ashley shares her shutter with me and I basically I was just scrolling through one night and I saw that that was on there and it seemed pretty interesting and it, and it was I actually enjoyed it for the most part uh, I give it a three and a half out of five there's so much more we're not even close okay so <laughs> the night the next film that I watched in the month of November was a film called Snowden I'm going to have a full review of this not on this page it might go up on my patreon um if it doesn't it will be up for free on my prying eyes channel and the reason why i'm going to put it up there is because i have more content that i'm going to be putting out that i'm going to tie into that video so definitely check it out uh snowden was pretty good i gave it a three and a half out of five stars i thought the performances were pretty good i didn't like shailene woodley's character i think that she was miscast in this film <laughs> overall in Nicolas Cage is just like randomly in it for like five minutes um uh, overall though I thought it was pretty good it it 
it is pretty accurate um but if you guys want accuracy and you want to know and you want to see something that's even crazier and scarier check out the documentary called citizen four which actually is the real life story of edward Snowden and this whole process like everything that you're going to see in that movie you will see in citizen four except with like real footage and it's way crazier than you could even imagine the next one that i watched in the month of november was rabid this was the remake uh, or reboot or whatever from the Soska sisters that came out in 2019 this one definitely took a turn from the original, but I did enjoy it. It definitely surprised me in a lot of different aspects because it's wildly different, um, but it's not bad by any means. And you can, uh, I do recommend checking it out. It's, I gave it a three and a half out of five. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a film called Mile 22. Uh, I think this one stars Mark Wahlberg and it's kind of like your run-of-the-mill Wa Mark Wahlberg movie it's cheesy stupid action he put he's playing the same type of character it's not very good I gave it a two and a half out of five I mean it's mediocre I don't even think I finished the whole thing it's just I'm over that kind of stuff the next one that I watched in the month of November was a movie called Trespassers. This one was actually fun. Now, I gave it a two and a half out of five on Letterboxd because of the plot. It's super basic, super, super basic. Uh, the performances are kind of basic, but it is really fun if you like the, that kind of home invasion horror films kind of thing. And um, there's a cool twist, but other than that, I thought I thought the whole, the whole movie as a whole was kind of mediocre, although I did have a lot of fun watching it. So check it out. Um, it's called Trespassers. I think it's streaming on Hulu right now. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a film that I wanted to like more. And maybe if I rewatch this, I might enjoy it a little bit more and might appreciate it a little bit more. But this one was called Disappearance at Clifton Hill. This was like a neo-noir type film, and, and I like those kinds of things. I just feel like it felt like it was detached, like the, the characters felt detached from the story, and I couldn't get invested in the characters emotionally, you know what I mean? And so that's kind of what held this film back for me, although I really love the way it looks. I think it was directed really well. I think it was acted pretty well, but... They didn't have much to work with the, with the plot and that kind of sucks because they had a really nice premise with this and they could have done so much more with it. And I wish that they did because this could have been like a major motion picture and it kind of just faded off into nothing and, it, and I gave it a three out of five. I, you can, it's on Hulu, you can check it out, but I, I'm sorry, it's, it's, I, w I wanted to like that one more, I really did. The next one that I watched in the month of November, I had already talked about in, in a full review, but it's called Villains. Uh, definitely go check that one out. I gave it a four out of five. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. The next one that I watched in the month of November was called The Ritual. I feel like I've seen bits and pieces of this film uh, throughout, like since it came out till when I watched it in full with Ashley, but I did enjoy it for the most part. Uh, I gave it a three and a half out of five. The, there's a lot of twists and turns in this one that I wasn't expecting. And that kind of really kept me interested in this. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a film called Daniel Isn't Real. I enjoyed this one not as much as I wanted to. I was really looking forward to it too because I thought it looked really good. But there were just so many cheesy aspects to it that I feel like... They kind of missed the mark on although it sounds like i'm giving a negative review i did enjoy it and i gave it a three and a half out of five i do recommend it it's kind of like a horror it, it i think it's on shutter actually you can definitely check it out on there um but i listen i i like that one i just wish that they did more with it next one i watched in the month of november i watched with ashley again she recommended this one it's called the tale uh it's kind of like a heart warm it's kind of like a heart wrencher like it, it hits you in the gut um kind of film 
The performances are great. The story is great. The, there's one, like there was a couple of things that kind of held me back and it, it was just because it, it kind of felt like it was one of those dramas that are just made to kind of maybe try to win awards type of thing. Either way, it the performances weren't bad. It was directed pretty good. Check, check it out. I gave it a three and a half out of five. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a rewatch with Ashley because she hadn't seen it. This one was The Lodge. I fucking love The Lodge. You guys know that I love The Lodge. Uh, go check it out. I gave it a four out of five. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a movie called Shit House. Um, I had heard about this uh, before, like before it actually dropped, and I was like, that sounds kind of cheesy, kind of crappy. The 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 performances kind of are what held this film together. It's it's definitely one that um, you can connect to, especially if you have ever felt lonely, regardless of your situation, like regardless of whether you're with people or not with people. If you ever felt lonely or, or like detached from your friend group or anything like that, you definitely will enjoy this. It's kind of like a coming of age type of movie, um, but I, I, I enjoyed it. I gave it a three and a half out of five. The next one that I watched in the month of November was The New Mutants. You already know how I feel about this one. Two and a half out of five. Mediocre trash. <laughs> the next one that I watched in the month of November was a movie called Little Monsters. Um, this was also recommended by Ashley. She really enjoyed, really enjoys this one. I, I enjoyed it too. Uh, I gave it a three and a half out of five. I thought the performances were pretty good and it overall worked pretty well for me. The next one that I watched in the month of November though was run what can i say run was pretty good definitely check it out i gave it a three and a half out of five I, i'm actually i think i might bump that up to a four out of five actually because it was a little bit better than i was expecting i thought the performances were great the uh, of course sarah paulson always delivers a great performance uh the the one thing that held it back for me though was it felt too much like the act like it felt like a film version of the act like it seems like they literally took elements from that story and they put it in this movie and um that's that's fine but it seemed like too closely related so uh, held it back from being a little bit better in my eyes but I definitely enjoyed it. It's suspenseful. It's it's a fun movie. I kind of wish it came out in theaters. Uh, like I kind of wish theaters were open to go see it because that's a movie that I would definitely see in theaters. But it was fine to watch at home, uh, and I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I think it's on Hulu, so go check it out. Three and a half out of five. The next one that I watched was a movie that I saw was streaming for free on YouTube. Um, by the way, if you guys don't want to pay for movies um go on youtube because youtube has a whole section um for movies where you can watch them for free like you can they, they have like paid movies or where you can rent or buy them but they actually have free movies and this is the one this is one of the ones that was recommended to me because i hadn't seen it before i think chris evans is in it um it's pretty cute it's pretty good it works for me for the most part there's some aspects of it that kind of held it back from being a little bit better. I kind of wanted to like it a little bit more. And I felt like it was kind of just slow. Like I felt like it could have, they could have done more with the story. Like I said, like there's a lot of movies on this list that they could have done more with, but I gave it a three and a half out of five. So it wasn't horrible. I enjoyed it. I watched the whole thing. So, you know, I didn't have to skip it. It could have been better. The next one that I watched again was actually Coherence. This was a rewatch cause uh, I wanted to rewatch it with Ashley. Um, because I really enjoyed that one. Like I said, four out of five. The next one was a movie recommended by Ashley. Uh, she wanted to watch this for her Christmas series, uh, but it's called Better Watch Out. I'd never heard of it. I actually enjoyed it. I thought the twist at the end was pretty good, but it's just kind of like a, you know, Christmas horror movie. It's you know, it's exactly what you you would expect, except it's pretty fun because of the twist at the end. Uh, I give it a three and a half out of five. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a film called His House. This one actually stuck out to me. I thought the performances in this one were great. I thought the directing was great. I thought the whole storyline was great. Um, and it's really nice seeing people of color in, in horror films and be at the front and center of a horror film. 
So I really did enjoy this one. I want to see more things like this. I want to see more filmmakers dive into stories like this because it was interesting and it was a cool spin on the typical... It, it, it was a similar thing that we have seen before, but the way that they did it uh, was they kind of put their own spin on it and I definitely enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five. The next one that I watched in the month of November was a film called Teen Spirit. The, first of all, the trailer looked like it was a little bit more of like a... It had more it looked like it was trying to be like a black swan type of thing where they had thriller elements um that's not what this is do not go by the trailer at all because uh, i had some kind of expectation about this one although um i fucking adore Elle fanning uh she's amazing even though her performance was really good i didn't enjoy this one that much i feel like we've seen movies like this before if you're trying to look for a movie to watch like with your family or something check it out it's not bad um it's just kind of slow for me i gave it a three out of five the next one that i watched in the month of november was a film called tangerine this is a film that was filmed entirely on an iphone 5 it was made by sean baker now i really enjoy what sean baker does i loved this movie i didn't like this movie as much as i liked the florida project because the florida project just has like a special place in my heart but i did enjoy this i, th I thought the performances were all good i liked how he how he directed it and how he showcased the shittiness of la and hollywood and and he he showcased that shitty part of of the of of this place that people people idolize you know what i mean there, there's a lot of shitty parts about that that city that aren't really portrayed on the big screen and he did a really good job with this and and filming it on an iphone was a really unique approach and i think it works really well with this type of film and i i enjoyed it overall i'll give it a four out of five the next one that i watched in the month of november i watched with ashley this was recommended by her um and this one was blind spotting I really enjoyed this one. I thought the performances were all good. There were a couple of elements that were slightly mediocre, like we have seen them before kind of thing. But the fact that the 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 whole entire cast did such a good job on this, I feel like they really did a good job. And I really liked the, the, the uh, social commentary about uh, the the police and the relationship they have with their communities especially the black communities and I, I enjoyed this one um I definitely recommend it if you if you are looking for any kind of thing it's it's really funny but at the same time there are really serious parts that will will hit you right in the gut the next one that I watched in the month of November was a documentary um called skin it's it's a movie documentary thing about the history of nudity in movies and i watched it because i kind of like i've seen things like this before i i've seen shows and 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 other documentaries that were made that are similar to this but i feel like the other ones work a little bit better the this one it, it seems like it seems like a lot of the people that they interviewed are just kind of boring and i don't want to hear from them you know what i mean i just, i don't know they needed to like get like better people in it um to me on to be honest so i ended up giving it a two and a half out of five stars it was just kind of meh the next one i watched on youtube again because like i said it was free this one was invasion of the body snatchers i really enjoyed this movie this was a rewatch i've already seen it but uh, i give it a four out of five if you if you like that kind of film if you like these kind of films it's it's more experimental with the directing uh but i thought the performances were top notch it's definitely a really good story and i i think you guys should check it out uh, the next one that i watched in the month of november was loose this was a film recommended by ashley we watched together we had a little bit of a date night and this one was pretty intense it it it, it definitely went a direction that I wasn't expecting it to go. I had never heard of this film before, uh, but I enjoyed it for the most part. I gave it a four or five. The next one that I watched was another Benson and Moorhead film. But this one, I actually liked a little bit more than The uh, the Endless. 
surprisingly. This one was called Spring, and it's kind of like a romance sci-fi horror movie kind of thing. It's hard to explain, but it was really interesting, and um, I think if you like weird, strange shit that kind of has like romance rom-com elements you would enjoy this one it's definitely way out of the box the cgi is kind of cheesy but uh other than that i mean it's pretty good i mean if they had a little bit of a bigger budget they probably could could have gotten better cgi or something but who who gives a shit that's that no one's like really watching that movie for the fucking cgi you know what i mean the, the performances were all amazing so go check it out i gave it a four out of five <laughs> the next one that i watched in the month of november was a rewatch of the born identity i saw it was um on netflix or on hulu actually and so i wanted to check it out again i like matt damon in this role i really enjoyed uh i really enjoy the born identity um i think that uh, the action is like top notch like especially for that time frame in 2002 like that was like top-notch action especially the way you direct it and i really enjoyed it so i gave it a four out of five the next one that i watched was another rewatch this one i had to actually rent uh because i didn't i don't own it but it is a nightmare on elm street i needed to get my heather langen camp fix i love this one i gave it a five out of five i mean there's not much else I can say. It's fucking A Nightmare on Elm Street. Go check it out if you haven't. It's a classic you need to watch. The next one that I watched in the month of November, I'm so glad that I got to watch two movies this night because this first one was awful. Um, <laughs> it's called Porno, so you can kind of see where it's going um it is not very good this was i mean it, it's okay i mean if you are interested in that kind of shit go check it out but i don't know i i'm i i i, I <sighs> ashley ashley i know you're watching why did you make me watch this anyway no i give it a one and a half out of five stars i i didn't really like it that much uh just <laughs> the next movie and the last movie that i watched in the month of november was a movie called tenet what a good way what a better way to end the month off with my most anticipated film of the year i gave a review of this uh, which is on my channel you can go check it out i think it was my last video maybe it was the video before my last video who knows who cares uh it was definitely good i really enjoyed it uh but it didn't live up to the normal hype of the actual film like they you know nolan hypes up his films the media hypes up his films everyone hypes up nolan's films but a lot of times they don't reach that hype uh and I kind of felt that way with Tenet, but I did enjoy this one. I thought it was a good action film. I thought that the criticism, I mean, I watched this at home. I watched this on a home release, which even though pe and people are still complaining about the sound and I didn't think anything was wrong with the sound with the home release. I didn't watch it in the theater, so I don't know about that part. But the home release sounds fine to me. So I don't know where people are getting this. I think they just want to be funny and, and troll Nolan, I guess. I don't know. They just want something to complain about. I think it's stupid. Um, I think it sounds fine. I gave it a 4 out of 5. Uh, it's typical Nolan. It's just a, it's it's an action film that kind of has like some sci-fi elements if, you, if you're into that kind of stuff. But... If you're not, it's whatever. It's it's not like a, it's not like a movie you have to go see, but I definitely enjoyed it. It's right up my alley. I gave it a four out of five. And there you have it, the list of films I watched in the month of November. If you guys liked any of these, go check it out. Go check them out. Uh, most of these are streaming somewhere online. Uh, if not, you could probably just rent it online. Um, but anyway, go check them out. Uh, and if you guys like any of this kind of content, please stick around. I have so much more coming. I'm about to go film another review right now. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Stay safe. 
Don't forget, my Patreon is only $5, and I am thinking about bumping it down to $2, and if I do, I'll let you know, but go check that link in the description. Sign up for the Patreon. Help me out. Help me really help me realize this YouTube dream that I have, because that's where I want to go with my life, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Stay safe, everyone. Peace. Thank you.